Hi, today I'm going to show Mac users how to convert vector content for use in Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. And I'm going to pick up this vector content at various online generators like this one, Ideagram, that generates templates for various boxes and envelopes and so forth. I've already changed this to inches and typed in my dimensions of 2x2x2 two by two by two, and I'm going to click the Create button. Very quickly this gives me a PDF and I'm going to click on the download button. It sends a template right to my download folder. The next website I want to visit is called Myths2SVG. All the web addresses will be on my blog by the way. And you can see that it can convert files from Adobe Illustrator, CorelDRAW, EPS, and PDF or PostScript files. I'm going to click Choose File. This is in German but the Choose File button is English and I'm going to see that template 1, which is what I just made, is on the top of the list from my downloads folder. And with my two years of college German, I'm going to ascertain that the German word senden must mean send in English. So I'm going to click that button and then the download button also in English. And now I have what looks like exactly the same thing. But from the URL here ending in SVG, I can see that this has been successfully converted to an SVG, which is what I want. Now I'm going to right click, save page as. This may be a little different in your browser, but basically we want to save the page and we want the page source. Now we can give this a name that's a little bit easier, but it'll still be on the, the most recent file in our downloads, so we'll be able to find it pretty easily. So I'm going to click on my Downloads folder here. There's my file. I'm going to drag it and drop it onto my Silhouette Studio icon. It's going to ask me, am I sure I want to open that? Yes, I do. And there is my template. If I click on that, I can set this to cut. And I'm almost ready to go. Now I happen to know that from this site, the files to be the correct size need to be scaled by 80%. So I've already typed 80% in here. I'm going to hit apply. And I'm going to verify that just by checking, taking the rectangle tool, drawing a square for a 2x2 two two box. The bottom part here would be about 2 inches. So that's pretty close. I'm going to be satisfied with that. So that would be ready to cut. Now we're going to look at another favorite site of mine called Wordle. And I've already generated a Wordle here. And now you may know that on the Mac, anytime you have a print command, you have a PDF button and you can save your own PDFs. So I'm going to click the PDF button, click Save as PDF, and now I get a chance to name, name the document and tell it where to go. We'll send it to the Documents folder and then we're going to do the same procedure we did before. We'll go back to the input page, choose file, this time to our documents folder at the top. Click the send in button and click the download button and now there's our Wordle SVG. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. Save the page And now we're going to drag the SVG onto our Silhouette Studio icon. Tell it yes. Okay, and you can see that the colors are acting funny and we need to get rid of this background. So we're going to have to ungroup this until it breaks apart. And this took three times. And then we can get rid of this. And now we'll want to see about setting some cut lines. So we can click that and we can click on cut and there's our cut lines. But you may notice that the colors uh, disappeared basically. So there's an easy fix for this. On the Mac, because we can drag in a PDF, we'll just drag in the PDF file that we had to make anyway as an interim to getting to an SVG. And now we can use our eyedropper and begin picking up the colors from, from this document. 
Now the reason we didn't just use the PDF is when a PDF comes in, it's a bitmap. It doesn't have any, any cut lines. So instead of tracing this and losing quality, we use the vectors that are already here and just transfer the colors. We may want to use our own colors anyway. So this is a very valuable tool and I hope you enjoy using it.